what happens when you combine Ninjago City, gardens, markets, and docks. You get one of the biggest and best modular LEGO collections that has ever been built. In today's video, we're going to be diving in and taking a look at all the play features, building techniques, and the crazy amount of minifigures these sets have to offer. When you combine all four of these Ninjago Cities, it comes out to 20,000 269 parts. That's a lot of Lego right there. I'm really curious to see how many buildings are combined here. So we're gonna go from left to right, starting with this Zane Memorial and Little Red Pagoda. Moving on, we have the Cartographer Shop with a map and globe inside and a telescope outside. Then we got Miss Stake's Tea Shop with a lot of really sus, mysterious tea. Here at the bottom along the docks, we have a small fruit stand with some delicious fruits. Right beside it, we have a hole-in-the-wall masonry shop. You can see statues and sculptures. Right above this, we have Dara's famous Mojo Dojo. This building is full of trophies, swords, and everything you need to become a true brown ninja. Across from the Mojo Dojo, we have a small apartment with dark green bunk beds, a black and white TV, and this really cool use of a cartwheel for the window. The last building in the dock section is an arcade with a gumball machine and a couple really slick looking arcade games. Moving on to gardens, we have a small soup shop and the windowsill is built with an ingenious technique using an upside down book. On the other corner is Ronan's pawn shop with a lot of his trophies that he's stolen throughout the years. Moving up, we have a small tea shop with a lot of beautiful paintings on the wall. Above the soup shop is an Ninjago fan apartment. I would definitely live here because it has a lot of miniature sized Ninjago sets. On the second level, we have an ice cream shop with a load of delicious ice cream and ice cream cones. Across from that, there's Chen's noodle shop with a super sinister looking sign. Inside, you can find a lot of delicious ramen noodles. If you ascend to the next level, you have the museum, which is packed full with references and details to past Ninjago seasons. On the corner here, there's a small green building where someone is painting a picture of the gardens. Moving above it, we have a small pink room with literally nothing more than a table with a small flower on top. There's a fantastic skylight you can look down at the Museum of History. And this giant teal tower is actually a ninja headquarters. In this tower, there's a blue ninja suit and there's even a small floor on the very top. It's time to go across the canal and get to the original Ninjago City. The first building is a small fish stand. Above that, we have a really cute tea shop. We also have a small charging station for this maintenance robot. Right above that, there's a cute apartment with this unique rounded window. Making it to the second floor, we have a crab shop using this unique bubble design for the outside. Down the street, you'll come to the comic shop with an amazingly brick-built comic logo on the top. Inside, you'll find comics. A lot of comics. Above the crab shop, we basically have the Walmart of Ninjago City. This place literally has everything you could want, including those orange Sensei Wu hats. On the top floor, there's a nice little house for Lloyd and his mom. It comes with two green bunk beds and even includes a microwave. The last building here is this really cool looking toilet. Yes, there is a massive toilet inside. After about 30 buildings, we're finally ready for markets. Let's start with Kai's blacksmith shop with a furnace, anvil, and barrel of water. Across the alleyway, we have a bakery with some delicious breads. Above the bakery and above the blacksmith shop, there are two cozy looking apartments. This set also includes a very cute tea shop with loads of tea and a miniature coal action figure. Above this, we have Aaron and Sora's apartment where you can barely squeeze in one minifigure. Guys, I'm almost out of breath. We're gonna keep powering through. We've got Dareth Karaoke Club with a pool table, jukebox machine, all the necessities. Above that, there's a tiny sushi stand and there's a toilet. We'll get to that later. And then we have the Apple Store with a bunch of iPhones. And above that, there's a little office for the man himself, Cyrus Ford. There we have it, 38 buildings. So my top three buildings here have to go to the Museum of History, Laffy's Karaoke Club, and lastly, Darius Mojo Dojo. That place is the bomb. Once you've combined all four of these Ninjago cities, you will have a total of 69 minifigures. My top three favorite minifigures are Camille, the Mechanic, and Cyrus Borg. These three minifigures are fantastic and they're exclusive to these Ninjago cities. Of course, you have a load of random citizens, a bunch of side characters, and of course, some classic ninjas. Before we get to the last category, let's speed run through some bonus categories. First off, there's a total of four vehicles 
there's three boats and one hover bike. My personal favorite is the original boat from Ninjago City. Scattered throughout Ninjago City are these cool poster signs that can be swapped out with other ones. And in all, there's 16, and my personal favorite is this Shadow Ronin one from the original Ninjago City. There are five unique animal sites, my personal favorite being this koi fish from Ninjago City Gardens. You can also grab these Ninjago Cities and switch them around to whichever way you want. This Ninjago City also includes a ton of fantastic play features, such as a working pot machine, Wow. a rotating rotisserie chicken stand, a secret drop-down ladder to get to the ninja headquarters, a working arcade machine, an elevator that can transport you to all three floors of Ninjago City, a working ATM that only spits out $100 bills, a grill that actually cooks the crab in the crab shack, a working sushi conveyor belt in the heights of Ninjago City, a wheelchair lift for Cyrus Borg, a working monorail with a drawbridge, another small elevator for Cyrus Borg, and last but definitely not least, a full-on working toilet. That's actually kind of disgusting. And if you want to become a Gold Ninja member, you can get access to my next video. So buckle up, it's going to be a fantastic video.